Hi everyone, welcome to Witty Twist Kitchen. Today I want to share a classic Chinese fried rice recipe with tofu and vegetables, as well as four important tips so that you can cook your fried rice fluffy and tasty every time, even using freshly cooked ordinary rice. It's very easy, so let's get started. First of all, what type of rice you choose can make a big difference. Usually, it's much easier with brown rice or basmati rice. They are naturally drier after cooked, so they are very good choice for making fried rice. But what if you don't have them or don't like those types? So today, let's challenge the ordinary rice. This is jasmine rice, my family daily rice. You can also use any other type of long grain or short grain rice in your pantry. The first thing I'm going to do is wash it. Tip number one: It's very important to wash your rice two to three times, or until the water is clear, to reduce the excess starch, so that your rice won't stick together tightly when it's cooked. I'm pretty sure you've been told many times to use chilled or leftover rice only to cook fried rice to create a fluffy texture, but let me tell you, that's not true. Then we're gonna cook it. Normally, I would use 1.5 portion of water for one portion of rice, and it works very well for fried rice if you leave it in the fridge for a couple of hours or overnight. That is because more water will be evaporated, and the low temperature will change some soluble starch to resistant starch, which make it less sticky and easier to spread. But if you can't wait overnight, what you want to do is reducing the water ratio to 1.2 portion of water with one portion of rice. This is tip number two, so that your rice will be cooked but not as wet. While waiting for the rice, we can prepare some protein and grains. Cut some firm tofu or pressed tofu into about one centimeter cubes. I'm using pre-marinated pressed tofu, which is usually available in Chinese grocery store. It's much drier than normal firm tofu, so the texture is firmer, very similar to ham. You definitely don't want to give this one a try if you don't like tofu. Then dice half red onion, as well as spring onion. I like to separate the white part and the green part of spring onion so that I can add them in at a different time to give my fried rice a multi-layered taste. For vegetables, you can actually choose anything you like or just whatever you've got in your fridge. What I usually do is cut them all into uniform small cubic size so that they can be cooked evenly and also for better presentation. And feel free to add in garlic, ginger, or hot chili if you want. When the rice is cooked, take it out straight away into a large plate or bowl. Then separate them up a little bit and set it aside for about five to ten minutes to let some water evaporate as it's very hot. So this is tip number three. Very simple, isn't it? And the other good news is that we don't have to wait until the rice completely cool down as well. We can move on to the wok straight away because it will just take roughly ten minutes until the step of adding in the rice. Put a wok or pan on high heat, adding in one to two tablespoon cooking oil. Saute the tofu cubes until golden brown. Then take them out, set it aside. Leave the oil in the wok. Add in the red onion and the white part of green onion. Cook for another two minutes or until aromatic. Then add in the diced shiitake mushroom and hard vegetables. Keep on cooking for another two to three minutes. Now it's time to add in our rice. The rice is not steaming hot anymore, but still warm and soft. So just give it a gentle toss. As you can see, there are still quite some rice clumps. It usually doesn't happen if you use brown rice or basmati rice, but don't worry, it's very normal, and we can fix it easily just with our tip number four. What you want to do now is turn down the heat to low, adding your sauce onto the rice. I use the light soy sauce and the vegetarian oyster sauce. You can also add in dark soy sauce if you want to give it an intense dark brown color. Then mix it up with a spatula. The combination of sauce and heat will help you separate the rice much more easily. Also, as shown in the video, for the rest of the rice clumps, I use the back of the spatula to rub and press the rice clumps gently. Try not to cut into it with a sharp edge because you want your rice to be grainy, fluffy instead of broken or mushy. Take your time to break the rice clumps until they are all nicely separated. As under low heat, your food won't get burned. When your rice fully separated, add in some baby peas, the cooked tofu cubes, and the green part of spring onion. Then up the heat back to high. Keep on cooking for another one to two minutes to let the flavor infuse. 
Now it's almost done. Add in some salt and pepper for taste, mix it well, then our healthy plant-based fried rice is ready to serve. Look at the amazing light, fluffy and beautiful shiny fried rice. They're fully infused with the umami flavor from the sauce and the mushroom. And the tofu is chewy and meaty, plus sweet, tender and crunchy vegetables. That's the perfect taste and nutrition combination that you want. Thanks for watching today's video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for more yummy plant-based Chinese recipes. See you next time.